Good afternoon, I'm very pleased to welcome uh, engineer uh, Walid Kalash, uh, Managing Director, uh, Middle East and Africa for Smart Energy ESAF. I like this ESAF. Uh, well, uh, a lot of talks on uh, SAF, which uh, with a target of just 1% by 2030, inshallah. Uh, while that means really lots of restrictions in terms of the scalability of SAF. Hydrogen, however, uh, might be ready by 2040, 2045. As you know, Airbus with their event in Toulouse uh, for the 2035 least tar minimum uh, target. Uh, so what do you think about ESAF and the potential of ESAF globally and in the Middle East? We, smart, we, smart, and we are in smart energy. We are strong believer in the ESAF. Uh, in the medium and long flights, we, th we see only the ESAF is the only solution. For yes. And uh, there is definitely, there is a lot of different solutions today on the table. There is a lot of different attempts. There is a lot of brain thinking. But uh, it, it will end up that the ESAF is, it will be the more sustainable solution, scalable uh, solution. Maybe today, uh, the the cost is uh, a bit high. It's it's, it's it's an issue, but with uh, more investments, more and mass production, more, more mass production, the ESAF will be the dominating factor, uh, factor. player. And we are smart energy. This yeah. is what we are focused on. Technology and certification. Where well, there are many players, some in Germany, some in the United States, such as British Petroleum, USA, uh, CMS Energy, and others. Where are we in terms of the availability of ESAF, in terms of technology ahead of the certification process? The availability of the product, um, let's speak about ourselves. Okay? We have now projects under development for ESAF, which will end up producing 250,000 tons. This is, this, uh, this, uh, this is what we have in the pipeline, or this is what's under development already, and mainly focused on Portugal. Okay. The, the ASAF market, it's still premature, but we are one of the developers where we, we are taking the lead and be a step compared to, uh, to, to be in the front runner compared to, to the market in, yeah. in going forward. The Middle East, where are we with ESAF? There is basically not a coalition framework for SAF announced uh, sometime back here in UAE. Where are we in terms of ESAF? Look, Shuf, in the Middle East today, to be honest, it's more focused. The, the maturity of our, there's few companies in the Middle East or uh, where they are really giving the focus for, for SAF in general. For SAF? In general, yes. Okay? And the focus more now today in the, in the bios. But we believe that the Middle East is very, it's qualified for the ESAF more than anything else. Because of its resources. Number one, there is no enough bio resources here in the Middle East. Number two, the scalability. The scalability you can have it here in the Middle East. Number three, the uh, the, 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 the the resources. You have the sun, uh, you have the wind. Okay, maybe everything. The, ev everything you have it here. You know, normally always Europe is a bit ahead. Now in the Middle East, now everybody looking into the subject. Yeah. And I, I, we believe that Middle East will move forward. What, what, what's your plan next? In the Middle East, we, have, we are here in the Middle East, uh, Smart Energy in the Middle East here. We are from a couple of years. Uh, we, are, uh, we are the extended arm for the mother company in Switzerland. And uh, mainly we are starting with it, the, the, initial, the initial idea. It was to attract investors for our projects there. To, uh, to secure an off takers. But now, after seeing the potential in the Middle East, we are looking for opportunities in the region to start our first project. Producing. Yes. Engineer Wally, thank you very much for being with us today.